Hi everybody, this is Valentina from The Real Italian Kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make what in Italian it's called the torta salata, which would translate to salty cake, which kind of looks like a quiche with uh, fresh ricotta and fresh spinach. The ingredients you're going to need today are a sheet of puff pastry, two eggs, some um, grated parmigiano cheese for flavor, salt, nutmeg, and of course, a cup of uh, boiled spinach and a cup of fresh ricotta. The first thing I did was lay the puff pastry in my round um, baking pan and I had to do a little patchwork. And just mix the two together. Make sure the spinach is very well drained of the water and that it's not still warm when you work it with the ricotta. Add the two eggs. The grated parmigiano or pecorino. I usually go with whatever I have in the house. And season with some salt. I'm not going to use too much because my ricotta is already very um, salty and nutmeg. Pour the mix in the baking pan. Distribute it over. And what I like to do is to fold the edges in. And when you find a round one, you can usually make pretty shapes with it. I'm having a hard time with this one. We're gonna let it cook in the oven set to 356 Fahrenheit, 180 Celsius for about 30 minutes. One quick word about the ingredients that I use. I like to go to the farmer's market in Wayne, Pennsylvania. If you're around this area, you should definitely go check it out. I bought my ricotta there, my fresh ricotta. The one you can find at the grocery store in the containers doesn't deserve the name of ricotta and I try not to use it. The spinach was also fresh. I cooked it myself in some salted boiling water for about 10 minutes and then drained it of all the water before I used it for my quiche. And right now is a great time to buy spinach, to buy fresh spinach because it's the right season for it and they're very cheap. So I hope you take my advice on that and go check out the farmer's market closest to you. Our quiche is finally done. This is what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for following The Real Italian Kitchen. Ciao, ciao.